Hey guys and welcome to my final part of my rundown mid-season of the drivers' performances in Formula 1 this year. Before we kick off the final four, let's have a little rundown. 22 through to 5, so at 22 is Maldonado, 21 Ericsson, 20 Gutierrez, 19 Chilson, 18 Suttil, 17 Raikkonen, 16 Kobayashi, 15 Grosjean, 14 Kvyat, 13 Massa, 12 Vettel, 11 Magnussen, 10 Perez, 9th Verne, 8th Bianchi, 7th Button, 6th Hulkenberg and 5th Fernando Alonso. And now we're here at the final four. So at 4th place is someone who has impressed me ever since I saw him drive uh, in the Young Drivers Test back at Silverstone a few years ago. It's Valtteri Bottas. Uh, for a lot of people he has now emerged as the next Finnish driver who's really going to put the cat among the pigeons in the coming years. I'm going to say it right now, I think he will win a race by the end of the year. Uh, it's probably going to be a race that, that's going to suit the Williams in terms of its straight line speed, so that in that case you're looking at either Spa or Monza. Um, but even if they don't win there, I think that it's a real possibility. You, you, you don't know what's going to happen with the Mercedes if they're going to take each other off in a, in a title uh, fueled frenzy um, I think it's if there's a man who's going to take the pieces it's going to be Bottas um, I think that the way he's driven this year the maturity remember it's only his second season in Formula 1 which is just remarkable for me in, in terms of how well he's driving um, he's only getting stronger uh, he, he's really starting to really cast Massa aside um, and yeah I, I just I just can't wax lyrical enough about how impressed I've been with his driving not just this year but in the latter half of, of, of 2013 as well so for those reasons the stats showing how well he's come on this year uh, how he's doing against Massa that's why for me Bottas has been the fourth um, best performing driver in Formula 1 this year so on to third place, and, and this really is, for me, the greatest surprise of the season. And it's probably the big, biggest and most joyous surprise for a lot of the F1 community. And that's been the performances of Daniel Ricciardo. Who would have thought, back in March, with the, one, the, Red, the way the Red Bull was, that Daniel Ricciardo would be uh, not only a race winner, but a two-time race winner. And all the while, Sebastian Vettel hasn't even had a look in it at a race victory. Um, but it's, for me, it's not just been those two race victories that, that Ricardo has taken that has impressed me. His whole um, attitude on track, he, he's, he's raced like a guy. I remember the battle he had with Alonso at Hockenheim. He's racing like a guy who's already won two world championships. Um, and for someone who is, is such a popular figure in the paddock, such a great personality on the TV, I think it's great for the sport. Uh, he, he is pretty much my favourite driver now alongside Hamilton um, and yeah I, I, he's going to be world champion in the future um, and just it, I just keep thinking back to what I said at the start of the season when I said that Ricardo had no pressure at all and if he got anywhere near Vettel in terms of week in week out performance that would be remarkable third place in my list well done Daniel so, number two, number one. This is probably what quite a few people have been waiting for, um, for who I think has been pound for pound the strongest driver this year. Well, I can reveal at number two, it's Nico Rosberg. Um, I'll admit, I, I, at times this season, I haven't really been that impressed with Rosberg. For me, the thought in my mind has been, well, of course he's winning races or finishing second. Is he in the strongest car on the grid? As I said before, I watched the 2013 review back and I noticed how many little scraps and bumps, especially in the early parts of races, that Rosberg would get himself mixed up in, which he hasn't done this year, um, on the back of what has been absolutely imperious qualifying performances. Now, as I said before, qualifying doesn't score you points, but if, if you can keep yourself... If you're a driver who maybe not doesn't have the best race craft... You need to make sure that you're at the front of the grid, and that is exactly what Rosberg has done. It's why he's leading the championship at the moment, um, and it's why, if he's going to win the championship, it's why he's going to do it. Um, so, in a way, yeah, I, th I think 
Rosberg has stepped up this year. It's kind of gone under the radar with the way that the whole season's worked out, but it, it, he has stepped up this year, and, and that's got to be praised. So, on to number one, and the driver I think for has been pound for pound the best driver this year, and that is Lewis Hamilton. When you think of how many things have happened to him this year with reliability failures, um, uh, cars catching fire, um, <laughs> Rosberg making coy little mistakes going into Mirabeau at Monaco, for example, um, he's still within um, a shot of the title. I think it was at 14 points at the moment. It's it's not even needing the ridiculous double points race at the end of the season for him to win the title. Um, for sheer race pace, um, he's looked marginally quicker than Rosberg, and it is marginally, but to be honest, when you're going to win a title against your teammates, marginally quicker is all you need. Um, his drives through the field at both Hockenheim and the Hing- Hungara ring especially, a track where you, you, it's almost like Monaco, you're not meant to be able to overtake. Um, the overtaking manoeuvres, in fact, overtaking manoeuvres was one of the things I wanted to factor in, in into my um, search for who's been pound for pound the best driver of the year. Um, and in effect, that's what, in my scoring, made it Hamilton as number one. Um, we just we just need, well, we, Lewis, we need to see that Lewis isn't going to get himself mentally in the wrong place as so nearly happened in, in Monaco um, if he keeps himself in the right frame of mind if his side of the garage get rid of all those little mistakes that they've made in the last few races I think Lewis will win the title it's going to be close, it's going to go to the last race of the season and frankly as an F1 fan I can't wait so that's the end of this series, I hope you've really enjoyed it I hope you've enjoyed it as much as I've enjoyed making it uh do like do subscribe i've been Andrew the blade and i'll see you real soon